Welcome to Bill's Spend and Expense, the free software businesses use to spend smarter and achieve the fastest month end close possible. In this video, we'll be going over the transactions table and everything you need to know about it from an admin's point of view. Let's start by clicking on transactions in the navigation menu. This will take us to the pending and cleared transactions table, where we can see all the transactions that have happened throughout the company. Each column will show you the transaction status, the date it happened, who made the transaction, the merchant that was paid, the amount, which card was used, the budget that the money came from, whether or not a receipt was uploaded and matches, and the merchant category code. We also have the ability to add, remove, or move certain columns. To move one, simply click on the right side and drag it to the correct position. If your company makes a lot of transactions, you may want to filter the table to only show transactions that match certain parameters. For this, you can click Add a Filter and choose to filter your transactions table by date range, amount, receipt status, and more. This makes it easy to view the exact transactions you want to see. You're also able to search for specific transactions by using the search bar left of the filter button. You can search by spender name, merchant name, card number, budget, and more to find the transactions you're looking for. If you want to view more information about a certain transaction, simply click on it to bring up every detail. You can see everything, including when it was cleared, who approved it, or still needs to be approved, the receipt that was attached, the budget it came out of, and the category it belongs to. So if you have post-spend approval flows enabled, this is where you can verify that all that information looks correct before giving your approval. You can take many actions on a transaction, including locking fields, syncing it to QuickBooks or Sage Intact, splitting the transaction, and sending a reminder message to get the spender to complete an action. This is also where you can dispute the transaction if it looks fraudulent, as well as set up transaction defaults to speed up the process of completing your transaction by having some of the fields already filled out for you. You can also apply these actions to multiple transactions at once by selecting the appropriate transactions and then choosing the action from the bulk actions drop-down menu. One of the biggest time-saving actions you can take is enabling automatic sync with your account software, such as QuickBooks or NetSuite. However, if you choose to manually sync your transactions, the second best thing you can do to save time is bulk sync them. If you have your QuickBooks or NetSuite account connected, you can do this by quickly selecting all of your transactions, going to the bulk actions menu, and then simply clicking the sync option for the software you use. We highly recommend doing this as it's one of the best ways you can save a lot of time when closing your books. If you don't have an accounting software connected to sync with, you also have the ability to export selected transactions by clicking the export icon and choosing which type of file you'd like them to be exported as. This file will then be available for you to download to your computer so you can use it to account for those transactions your way. That's everything you need to know about the pending and cleared section. Let's now go back to the transactions section on the main navigation menu and click declined. This pulls up a table showing all of the transactions that have been declined. It's a really easy way to see all the transactions that didn't go through, and it even shows you the reason why it was declined. The adjustments section will show you any type of adjustment that has been made to your account. This can include payment refunds, general adjustments, transaction disputes, payment corrections, fees, rewards, and more. If the amount shows up as a negative, that means you received the credit and it lowered your balance owed. If it shows up as a positive, then it was added and increased your balance owed. Lastly, we have the fees section. Here you can see any fees that were charged to your account as well as the reason you incurred those fees. Typical fees you could incur are expedited cards, overnighted cards, foreign transactions, and late payment fees. This is a convenient way for you to keep track of fees and make sure nothing unexpected pops up. And that's it. You're on your way to spending smarter and making sure you'll never manually create an expense report again. Check out more of our videos to go through a deeper dive in any of our product areas and learn more. Thank you for choosing Bill Spend and Expense.